Okay, so we've been able to get the club coming back on plane, coming back square, working inside in your garage or bonus room or just even just inside the living room, all right? Now, let's talk about getting the direction of the club towards the target or even to the right of the target so we're not having that, that, that pull slice type of a shot, okay? Um, if you have not been able to get your ball to start left, if, you, if you're taking the club back nice and square here or even a little shut and you're still hitting the ball in open club face, just check, hit some really, really small shots and just make sure uh, to check your finish position. I'm gonna do a practice swing. And when I check my, my finish position, I can see that my club did continue closing. Just make sure you're not coming through this way and leaving that club face pointing up at the sky. Okay, that might be the problem if your ball still is going to the right, even though you're practicing and taking it back square or shut. But let's get into the path. Here we go. So now take a look at this pressure mat that I'm using right here from V1 Sports. All right, so if you look up on my screen, that, those two blobs, they show, that shows my, my feet into the ground. So the blob on the left is my left foot, the blob on the right is my right foot, okay? Right, so now, when I go to make a swing, like if I was gonna throw a ball, watch what happens. I go right foot, left foot. But you can see how early that pressure, that, that little white ball is my center of pressure. See how early that thing gets going to the left, forward, right? Watch what happens if I leave it hanging back. Right, I'm way obviously back here on my backside. Okay, so if I'm gonna have uh, a chance at really getting my club to be able to swing out towards a target and not this way, right? The way that I utilize the ground is really, really important here, right? So when I hit this, I'm gonna make a practice swing and I'm gonna try to get my pressure moving into my front foot before my club completes this backswing. Just like if I was gonna throw a ball. Okay, and what's gonna happen is that helps the shaft of the club go from upright to a little shallower. And that helps us get the swing path that we want. And this is something I've said before in other videos where I say, keep your back turned to the target longer, you know? Because if you keep your back turned to the target longer, you're gonna be initiating your downswing with your lower body, moving towards the target a little bit, okay? So let's see if I can hit one here. We're gonna to try to match up the uh, the pressure mat as well as the launch monitor here, okay? So I'm gonna see if I get that pressure moving into my front foot nice and early. So that was kind of obvious probably on the video, I didn't do that. I was trying to make it less obvious, okay? But if you look at the ball that I hit, see it started to the left, it launched to the left, and you can see it had a slight, a very slight cut spin to it. So that would have been a shot that I could have gotten away with maybe, but it was really short. It was like at least 40, 50 yards short of my, my normal distance with this club. So now I'm gonna to try to do a better job of getting pressure into the front foot. And you'll notice when I start, ooh, oh, there we go, now I'm fine. So when I, when I get started, I like to have about 55% of my front foot. Okay, there's 52, okay. So it was a little bit heavy, but I think it was okay as far as like, the number, see it's drawing up there? Okay, it was heavy so I lost some distance. But on that shot, you can see if you look at the bottom, I had that draw spin, that seven degrees of tilt going this way. All right, so being able to get pressure into our front foot early is gonna make it easier for us to get the, the club to swing it's gonna, sh it's gonna shallow the shaft a little bit and we're gonna be able to hit the ball a little bit more from the inside of the target line instead of the outside of the target line, okay? So, okay, that sounds great. Get pressure more on your front foot. But how do we really like make this work? Well, here's the idea. Let's say you, you've got one of these pressure mats. Really easy. Set up with your feet on the mat. Take a look at our screen here. You can see right now I've got, I'm all on my left foot. I'm all on my right foot. Okay, I'm gonna settle now, getting about in the middle. All right. See that ball moving back and forth? Now, I'm not moving much myself, but I'm moving pressure from my right foot to my left foot. Right foot, left foot. 
right foot, left foot. And you can see it's right about the equator, so it's very close in the middle of my feet. Okay, now when we hit shots, sometimes it gets more up like this way. We really rather not do that, but some people can get away with it, right? We want to stay right on that equator where the, pr the, pr the pressure is in the middle of my feet and I'm turning back and through. And you'll notice now I'm not even really unwinding, but I'm feeling the way the pressure is moving into my front foot. So if you don't have one of these mats, you got to work on this a little bit, okay? Look at yourself in the mirror, all right? Get set up with this, this nice, so we call a secondary spine tilt, right? Where my back shoulder is lower than my front shoulder. Turn back and move pressure into your front foot while your back is still turned to the target. And you're going to do it. It's kind of awkward doing it when you don't really complete it or swing the club because it's a dynamic movement. But you can definitely get the feel for getting that pressure into your left side, into your front side really early. So really good players. One thing they all do is they get pressure into their lead side really early. So I'm not going to worry about the pressure mat. I'm going to worry about hitting a good shot and I'm going to check the ball flight early into the front side. Let's see what that did. Looks pretty good. Really good shot. So, I, so you know, if I had eh, a little short, I don't know about that, but if I had, um, if I couldn't hit balls outside for a few months, and I realize, you know, it's not my money I'm telling you to spend, right? But if I, if I had in my house and I'm up and up north, this really nice net, a launch monitor, decent mat, and and you know, one of these pressure mats, it'd be, you know, there'd be some kind of investment there. But it lasts me a long time, and I'd really be able to get really good work in either during the golf season, like in the evenings or whatever, or be able to get really good work in in, in the wintertime. All right, so uh, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, by the way, feel free to contact me. I will put a link to all these products. If you end up deciding to purchase any of them, and all of them, I, by the way, I highly would recommend. Uh, but if you do purchase them through those links, I get a little bit of a, a, little bit of a bump. So you pay the same price, so you don't have to pay more for it, but it, it helps me out too. So um, the V1 Sports Pressure Mat, SkyTrack launch monitor and the net return, these three products, along with good hitting mats that you can buy through net return, by the way. Um, really, really great products. I recommend them. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact me. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.